Hi, hello everyone. First of all, a warm welcome to CBS Institute YouTube channel. I am Navin Raju, Quantity and Reasoning Trainer in CBS Institute. In lesson 1, I uh, detailly explain about concepts of profit and loss with fraction concept, percentage concept and ratio. You better to watch first lesson and get back to the second lesson. In second lesson, we are going to discuss about some, year, uh, some previous year memory based question. Why, can't, uh, why are you waiting? Let's go for question 1. Okay. The first question is, a man sold an item for 7,500 rupees and uh, incurred a loss of 25%. At what price should he have to sold the item to gain 25%? Regarding here, cost price is same. Okay. Cost price is same. If you cost price same, you can use a fraction concept, a ratio concept and percentage fraction. Okay. So, I get back to the fraction concept. Okay. First one, how much loss? 25 percent loss second how much profit you expected 25 percent so 25 percent means how many parts four parts upon four parts one parts loss what is the selling price three parts 25 percent means cost price how many parts four parts so one parts profit means it would be five parts so both are cancelled okay so therefore at three is to five okay here the first selling price is 7500 okay 7500 how many times of three to get a 7500 is 2500 therefore you multiply 2500 so 2500 five times is how much 12500 is a final answer okay option uh, b is the right answer okay so here cost price is same that's why I used a fraction concept or ratio concept to answer this question just in a one line next question a cortic sold an article for rupees of 6500 and income loss of 20 percent at what price should he have sold an article to gain a 20 percent so here also same cost price is same so you can use the first one loss is how much uh, uh, cost to price is constant here cost price is same the first how much profit 20 percent uh, 20 percent loss means minus 1 by 5 and second profit is 20 percent expected and 1 by 5 okay so here upon 5 pass one part is loss it would be 4 upon 5 one part profit it would be 6 so 5 5 cancel 2 2 sir, and 2 3 sir. so uh, 2 is to 3 okay here so 6500 which is given okay 6500 which is given so 2 3 to 5 0 okay so into 3 to 5 0 okay so uh, 6000 of 3000 and find out of 250 so you easy to multiply this one 3 5 is a 15 6 and 3 3 is a 9 so what's your answer 9000 so on 50 is the final answer okay here the two parts is 6500 what about one part one part is 3250 so you can directly add from here also so 6000 plus 3000 9000 and 500 plus 250 you get us 9750 also so, so uh, if cost price is same, you can answer the question with the help of fraction ratio concept. You get an answer in just one line. Okay, we're going to discuss about next question. Next third question: A Mohan sold an article at a, a rupees of four thousand five ten rupees and incurred loss of forty five percent. At what price should he have sold an article to gain forty five percent? When Mohan sold an article at a four thousand five ten rupees, he got a loss which was a forty five percent. But he expected 45% profit at what price you need to sell an article. Here the cost price is same. Cost price is same. You can go for a ratio concept test. 45%. What is a 45% means? A 9 by 20 is a plus means minus. A 45% profit means what? Plus 9 by 20. So here it is. Cost price same. So upon 20 minus 1, how much it is? 11. And 20 plus 1, how much it is? 29. So this is a, a easy to answer the question. Okay. So we have 11 parts. How many parts you require? 29 parts you require. Okay. So this is a condition we need to answer this question. Okay. So here it is. 11 parts is equal to how much? 4, 5, 1, 0. I do double. 22 parts. Double of 4,500 is 9,000. 10 rupees double 20 rupees. Okay. So get my point. So here it is cost. Here it is selling price. How many parts? 11 parts here it is selling price how many parts 29 parts but you require 29 parts so we already find 22 parts how many parts are left over seven parts are left over so a symbol to answer this one so one part is equal to 11 fours are 11 ones are. one part is how many rupees 410 rupees you can do seven times zero and seven and 28 so add this one you get an answer is 11,890 rupees okay so uh, this is an, a method to answer if cost price is same so 45 percent means what how much 9 by 20 last means what minus 
प्रॉफिट मीन्स फॉर प्लस सो अपन ट्वेंटी नाइन रुपीज लॉस वॉट इज द सेलिंग प्राइस लेवन पास लेवन पास इज हाउ मच फोर फाइव वन जीरो सो अपन ट्वेंटी नाइन रुपीज प्रॉफिट वॉट इज सेलिंग प्राइस न्यू सेलिंग प्राइस ट्वेंटी नाइन पास सो लेवन डबल इज हाउ मच ट्वेंटी टू सो हाउ मच पार्ट्स रिक्वेड टू गेट अ ट्वेंटी नाइन पार्ट सेवन पार्ट्स वन पार्ट गिव्स हाउ मच फोर वन जीरो एंड सेवन पार्ट गिव्स हाउ मच टू एट सेवन जीरो वैन समिंग ऑफ नाइन जीरो टू जीरो एंड टू एट सेवन जीरो यूर आंसर इज लेवन थाउजेंड एट नाइनटी इज अ फाइनल आंसर ऑप्शन इज अ रेट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वन द प्राइस ऑफ आर्टिकल रिड्यूज बाई ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट इट सेल इंक्रीज बाई एटी पर्सेंट वाट नेट अफेक्ट ऑन द सेल ओके सो नेट अफेक्ट मीन्स वाट सो नेट अफेक्ट ऑलवेज लाइज बिटवीन अ प्राइज and also weight okay price also and weight so very very important here it is and in price of in weight it is used sale okay so nothing but what uh, so net effect means what revenue net effect means what what is this revenue revenue depend on as well as price as well as sales also okay so price and sales are which proportion inversely proportion okay so here it is price upon 20% 20% means what uh, how much it is so 20% 20% means minus 1 by 5 and 80% means how much a uh, 4 by 5 increase means plus so upon 5 1 decrease it is 4 upon 5 4 increase is how much 9 ओके सो नाइन फोर जो थर्टी सिक्स फाइव फाइव जो ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके दिस इज सो बेसिकल वैल्यूज ट्वेंटी फाइव पास बेसिकल वैल्यूज ट्वेंटी फाइव पास अपॉन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी सिक्स हाउ मच इंक्रीज सो लेवन इंक्रीज परसेंटेज इज हाउ मच हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव हमन टाइम्स फोर टाइम्स सो इट इंक्रीज बाई हाउ मच परसेंटेज फार्टी फोर परसेंट इज इंक्रीज फार्टी फोर परसेंट इज इंक्रीज ओके सो नेट अफेक्ट मीन्स वट रेवेन्यू रेवेन्यू इज इक्वल टू प्राइज इन टू सेल सो वेन इंशन इंस्टेड ऑफ वेट यू मेन्शन सेल ऑल्सो ओके सो प्राइज इन टू सेल is nothing but what revenue when price decreased by how much percentage 20% nothing but what 1 by 5 decreased means what minus and uh, uh, sale increased by 80% uh, nothing but what it is a 4 by 5 increase means what plus upon 5 increased to 4 so remember denominator is always initial and it is final okay so this is a fundamental so 4 9 is a 36 5 5 is a 25 initial is 25 final is how much 36 how much value re, how much value effect 11 pass are affected so 11 upon 25 into 100 gives how much 44% increased okay the next question a man bought 20 dozen of eggs for rupees of 720 rupees and what should be the selling price of each egg if he want to make a profit of 20% so regarding this question a man purchased how many eggs uh, 20 dozen okay so 20 dozen for rupees of 720 he spent literally 720 rupees for 20 dozen and uh, we know each dozen how a 12 eggs and what should he uh, what should be the selling price of an each egg if you want to get a make profit of 20% so in this question specifically mentioned price of each egg so 20 dozens one dozen how many eggs 12 eggs okay is equal to how many rupees it is 720 so 12 how many times 60 times 20 how many times 3 times what is the cost to price of one egg 3 rupees okay how many rupees 3 rupees it is so now he expected profit is 20% 20% means how much 1 by 5 okay 1 by 5 20% means how much 1 by 5 so therefore here five parts is how many rupees so 300 paise i uh, go for the better uh, answer to easy question okay 3 rupees means 300 paise one part is equal to 60 paise okay 60 paise you can sum this one six parts is equal to 360 paise so 360 paise means what uh? Three rupees sixty paise. This is the final answer. Okay, so uh, there are uh, twenty uh, dozen. Each dozen twelve uh, eggs. So is equal to seven twenty rupees. What is the cost price of one egg? Three rupees. So twenty percent means how much? One by five. So cost price how many pass? Five pass. Five pass is three hundred paise. One part is sixty paise. Three hundred paise plus sixty paise how much? So three sixty paise. Option D is the right answer. So if uh, here it is the cost price of each egg uh, is same. You can find a total profit uh, and you can find total selling price and divided by twenty uh, into twelve. A time taking process. You can better to find a cost price of each egg is how many rupees? Three rupees. So twenty percent means what? One by five. So five pass is three hundred paise. Three rupees. means how many paise a uh, 300 paise one part is how much 60 paise therefore six pass is equal 360 paise 3 rupees 60 paise is a final answer okay a next question number of articles based question a man generated a profit of 20% by selling 60 apples at rate of 40 rupees 50 paise to sold 5 apples 
then the total cost at which the apples bought so the intention of question we need to find the cost to price of 60 apples okay cost price of how many apples we need to find a 60 apples we need to find it is so here it is uh, any profit and loss question student intention to find a quantifier which is given in an examination okay so here it is quantify 20 percent profit okay so 20 percent profit it is now uh, 20 percent profit is already given so 20 percent means what how much it is plus one by five so therefore here cost of price is how many parts five parts now profit is one part selling price how many parts six parts okay so this is an uh, question so here it is uh, we need to find a selling price how many parts as uh, six parts okay six parts but uh, here selling price of how many apples are given five apples five apples how much 40 rupees 50 paise okay 40 rupees 50 paise nothing but what you can do often double technique to answer this uh, very simple 85 by 2 okay so 42.50 you can uh, do double uh, divide 42.5 uh, do double is 85 if you do double and half of the denominator so 5 apples how much 85 by 2 i'm going to find about 60 apples so how many times to get a 12 times so nothing but what 85 by 2 into 12 so how much it is 6 therefore this is a overall selling price Therefore, overall selling price how many pass? 6 pass. 6 pass is how much? 85 into 6. So, 6 and 6 cancel. Here, 1 part is how many rupees? 85 rupees. Now, you can find cost price. Here, cost price how many pass? 5 pass. 5 into 85. Okay. 85 is 400 and 5 is 25. What is the selling cost price of 60 apples is? 425 rupees. Okay. So, this is a method you can find an answer. The next model and very important model and most happening model in all gum to examination. Let's look at it. A man sold and 20 apples for rupees of 100 to gain a 20 percent and how many apples did he bought at rupees of 100 so in this question uh, the total investment is 100 and gain 100 it is investment is constant here investment is constant so here investment is 100 and get 100 so totally constant therefore uh, revenue is constant you can go for price and weight are which proportion inversely proportion okay in this what we need to constant investment is constant okay investment is constant price and weight are which proportion inversely proportion so by default a profit all and loss always mentioned at, uh, with respect of price only okay with respect of price only has per price has per price 20 percent means a 1 by 5 1 by 5 therefore it uh, indication cost price is how many parts five parts and selling price how many parts six parts okay this is therefore i'm going to go i'm going to discuss about weight and price and weight are which proportion inversely proportion therefore purchased and sold okay so a price and weight are which proportion inversely proportion so six by five inversely proportion how much it is five by six so therefore here five parts is how many apples 20 apples so 5 to 20 get how many times to multiply it? 4 times so 6 4s are almost 24 so your answer is option a b is the right answer okay so when investment is constant price and weight are which proportion inversely proportion so by default a profit percentage loss percentage is measured with respect of price only therefore price is uh, what with respect of price percentage 20 percentage is 1 by 5 this cost price is 5 pass selling price how many pass 6 pass so i'm going to with respect of weight price and weight are inversely proportion Therefore, purchased 6 and sold 5. 5 pass is 20. Means how much you multiply to get a 24. Therefore, 6 into 4, how much it is 24. Okay, when it investment is constant. When investment is uh, different, we're going to do another model also. That model we're going to discuss in the next video. Okay, the next question is very, very important. And this model is basically uh, chances to get in a preliminary based exams. If shopkeeper gets 20% profit, find the profit percentage selling price so uh, here it is by generally a profit percentage or loss percentage always estimate as with respect of cost price only but in this question so a given profit percentage with respect of cost price but e asking at a selling price it asking selling price okay here the profit percentage here the profit percentage with respect to cost price is given how much it is 20 percent is how much one by five okay get my point one by five therefore upon uh, uh, this condition okay what is the cost to price is five rupees what is the selling price is six rupees now you asking profit percentage with respect to selling price with respect to selling price so therefore selling price how many pass six pass 
okay as per general the question given it a cost price 20 percent okay but you're asking it's selling price selling price how many rupees six rupees what is the purchase price five rupees what is the profit one rupee percentage is how much hundred hundred divided by six nothing but what sixteen two by three percent profit okay so this is a question so generally profit and loss percentage estimated uh, with respect of cost price but regarding to the question you're asking it a uh, selling price okay so as per general a profit person at selling price given in the question 20 percent means 1 by 5 therefore cost price how many pass 5 pass selling price how many pass 6 pass as per question you're asking it selling price selling price how many rupees 6 rupees but he purchased 5 rupees how many rupees are profit 1 rupee profit 1 rupee upon 6 at 100 is 16 2 by 3 percent profit okay so uh, next question by selling an article a man makes a profit of 25 percent of selling price and find the profit percentage here the profit mentioned with respect of selling price so what is the actual profit always try to find profit percentage cost price only in this question profit percentage is he mentioned at cost price no mentioned at selling price okay therefore it is 25 percent means uh, plus one by four what it is one by four therefore here he specifically mentioned selling price a selling price selling price how many rupees is four rupees so it's a four rupees upon when you sold it four you get a profit is how much one rupee therefore cost price how many rupees three upon uh, so three upon four so when we're going to find about profit percentage at actually cost price what is the actual cost price three rupees actual cost price three rupees selling price is four rupees what is the profit one rupee percentage is how much hundred one third of hundred nothing but what 33.33 percentage profit option none of these okay so very very important question so here it is a profit of 25 percent at selling price so if selling price means what uh, so that is uh, it with respect to selling price means a denominator is four parts is selling price so selling price is four rupees but you get one rupee profit indirectly cost price how many rupees is three rupees so profit percent at actually cost price so upon cost price three rupees and profit is one rupees one third of hundred gives how much 33.33 percentage is the right answer okay so very very important model so this is a, a basics of lesson two and wait for the lesson three and lesson three we're going to discuss about very different model will all come to examination also thank you for watching stay tuned to youtube channel and you get a new videos